September 1, 2019 Hurricane Dorian, a powerful Category 5 storm, roared over the Bahamas on Sunday afternoon making landfall on two different islands with punishing sustained winds of 185 mph and gusts that reached speeds of 225 mph. Dorian proved to be a historic hurricane, the strongest ever during modern record-keeping to make landfall in the Bahamas and, with sustained 185 mph winds, it's now the second-strongest hurricane, by wind speed, ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. Dorian now stands behind only Hurricane Allen, the strongest storm ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. Allen thundered over the Gulf of Mexico in August 1980 and achieved sustained wind speeds of 190 miles per hour before making landfall near the U.S.-Mexico border. Hurricane Dorian made its initial landfall at El Boque, Abacos, in the Bahamas. The Eye of Dorian then made a second landfall on Great Abaco Island near Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas. Maximum sustained winds were 185 mph during each landfall. Gusts of 225, as AccuWeather extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer pointed out, were equivalent to the winds of an EF4 tornado. I have seen utter devastation here in Marsh Harbor. We are surrounded by water with no way out, ABC News correspondent Marcus Moore told the news station. Absolution devastation, there really are no words it is pure hell here on Marsh Harbor on Avoca Island in the northern part of the Bahamas. Since 1851 the Treasure K area in the Abacos Paxamas has experienced three major hurricanes, all of which were Category 3 hurricanes, according to the NWS Charleston. Dorian, currently a Category 5, is the strongest by far to affect the area. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 is the only Category 5 hurricane to pass through the Bahamas. This satellite images shows Category 5 Hurricane Dorian making landfall across the northern Bahamas with maximum sustained winds of 185 miles per hour on Sunday afternoon, Sep. 1, 2019. Noah goes east. In Freeport on Grand Bahama Island, residents hunkered down in a church that was being used for a shelter. Photos and videos surfacing on social media showed powerful winds whipping palm trees, flooding and some severe damage to residences. This is probably the saddest and worst day for me to address the Bahamian people, the Bahamas Prime Minister Hubert Minnis wrote in a Twitter post Sunday afternoon. We are facing a hurricane that we have never seen in the Bahamas. Please pray for us. In addition to some places in the Bahamas seeing up to 24 inches of rain, severe storm surge could be devastating. With Dorian packing winds of 185 miles per hour, life-threatening storm surge will also plague the northern Bahamas in the coming days. Storm surge across the northern Bahamas is expected to exceed 10 feet in some areas. This will pose a serious threat to both life and property across much of the northern Bahamas, AccuWeather meteorologist Brandon Buckingham said. By Sunday evening, Dorian had slowed to a crawl, swirling west at 5 miles per hour, about 150 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida and only 70 miles east of Freeport in Grand Bahama Island. Dorian has maintained its status as a Category 5 storm with maximum sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. As the storm slowly drew nearer to Florida's Atlantic coast, the National Hurricane Center issued its first hurricane warnings and watches for parts of the Sunshine State. AP Photo, Garrett Fisher, AP Photo, Ramon Espinoza, a baby sleeps inside a church that was opened up as a shelter for residents who will wait out Hurricane Dorian in Freeport on Grand Bahama, Bahamas, Sunday, Sept. 1, 2019 AP Photo, Ramon Espinoza, a child evacuated from a nearby quay due to the danger of floods drags his suitcase when he arrives on a ship at the port before the arrival of Hurricane Dorian in Sweeting. 31, 2019 AP Photo, Ramon Espinoza, a man stands on a store. 1, 2019
AP photo, Ramon Espinoza, Anastasia Makey, 43, far right, looks at her phone as she and her family sits on cots with other residents inside a church that was opened up as a shelter as they wait out Hurricane Dorian in Freeport on Grand Bahama, Bahamas, Sunday, Sept. 1, 2019. AP photo, Jacqueline Martin, President Donald Trump, left, listens as Kenneth Graham, director of NOAA. 1, 2019, in Washington. John Rau, AP Matt Rohrer loads sandbags in the back of his vehicle for his home in preparation for Hurricane Dorian Friday, August. 30, 2019, in Flagler Beach, Florida. AP photo, John Rau, Bryn Anderson, AP shoppers wait in long lines at Costco, Thursday, August 29, 2019, in Davie, Florida, as they stock up on supplies ahead of Hurricane Dorian. AP Photo, Bryn Anderson, Marcus Lim, AP Store Shelves are empty of bottled water as residents buy supplies in preparation for Hurricane Dorian, in Doral, Florida, Thursday, July 29, 2019. The U.S. National Hurricane Center says, Dorian could hit the Florida coast over the weekend as a major hurricane. AP Photo, Marcus Lim, AP Photo, Ramon Espinoza, a woman carries a girl in her arms after being evacuated from a nearby cay due to the danger of floods after arrive on a ship at the port before the arrival of Hurricane Dorian in Sweeting. 31, 2019. Ian Sears, Noah, Noah's Hurricane Hunters flew into the eye of Hurricane Dorian Sunday morning on Sept. 1. Snapping photos of a view of the stadium effect eye wall from their plane Kermit, Ian Sears, Noah, a view of the top of Hurricane Dorian. Johns County, St. Lucie County and Martin County and parts of Palm Beach County, including where President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort is located. The Miami Herald reported the Palm Beach evacuations are for those in low-lying areas and that the county began opening shelters on Sunday. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspended traffic tolls after the first evacuation orders went into effect at 1 p.m. Hurricane Dorian is one of the strongest storms that's ever threatened Florida. If you live in a county with evacuation orders, please heed the call, DeSantis implored Floridians in a post on Twitter. President Trump has also been issuing warnings about the power of Dorian. It seems to be one of the biggest hurricanes we've ever seen, and that's a problem, Trump told reporters outside the White House on Sunday, discussing the changing forecast for where Dorian might make landfall in the U.S. It seems to be going up toward South Carolina, toward North Carolina. Georgia's going to be hit. Alabama's gonna get a piece of it, Trump added. He posted a similar statement on Twitter as well. The latest weather forecasts indicate that Alabama will not see any impacts from Dorian. The five-day forecast shows sunshine and temperatures in the 90s for Birmingham for the first week of September. But from Florida up through Georgia and the Carolinas, people were on edge. States of emergency have been in place for days. While Dorian is a very powerful storm, AccuWeather meteorologists point out that it's small in size, something that could be critical depending on the track it takes as it approaches the southeastern coast of the U.S. Satellite images of Dorian still portray the hurricane as a relatively small feature. Hurricane force winds only extend outward from the hurricane by about 30 miles, while tropical storm force winds extend outward from the center of the hurricane by about 105 miles, a size that is roughly half of what is average for a hurricane, AccuWeather hurricane experts said. Forecasters say Dorian could still deliver a glancing blow to the east coast of Florida, bringing hurricane conditions from Jupiter Inlet to the Volusia Brevard County line and tropical storm conditions up and down much of coast, even if its eye stays offshore and never makes landfall there. Beyond that, landfall is not out of the question for the Carolinas as Dorian slowly marches up the east coast this week. In places along the Florida coast like Melbourne Beach, residents continue to hold their breath, a lot of folks have boarded up. You see the shutters up, folks not ready to believe that this is going to stay off the coast, AccuWeather National Weather reporter Jonathan Petromala said.
related Dorian did target Georgia, Carolina coasts after it veers dangerously close to Florida state of emergency declared in four states, Dorian makes landfall in Bahamas as Category 5 AccuWeather lowers its predicted total damage from Hurricane Dorian as frightening an eye as you will ever see, very close call for Florida as Hurricane Dorian looms off the coast 9.30 p.m. EDT Sunday. Over 700 flights scheduled for Monday involving airports in Florida have been cancelled, according to FlightAware. As of Sunday evening, the number sits around 736 flights. The airports involved include Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Palm Beach, Orlando Sanford, Miami and Hartsfield Jackson. Fort Lauderdale has cancelled about 263 flights, and Orland has cancelled about 232 flights. The Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport will join the list of airports closing on Monday in preparation for Dorian.7 p.m. EDT Sunday. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster ordered mandatory evacuations for coastal counties starting Monday, September 2, at noon. On Tuesday, all schools and government offices across at least eight counties in the state will be closed. Alert! EDT Sunday, ahead of Dorian reaching the U.S. Southeastern Coast, airlines are canceling flights in West Palm Airport in Florida plans to close on Monday at 2 a.m. EDT and reopen Tuesday at 11 a.m. EDT. Update at Delta cancels 25 flights ahead Dorian's forecast track along the southeastern U.S. coast https colon slash slash t dot co slash p zunk v 7 w Delta News Hub at Delta News Hub September 1st 2019 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. Brevard County, Florida, is now under a hurricane warning, meaning hurricane conditions are expected within the next 36 hours. The full extent of the damage in the Bahamas is currently unknown, though there have been videos surfacing on social media of the insides of homes gutted, boats overturned in a sea of storm surge and houses with collapsed roofs after enduring one of the strongest storms of the Atlantic Basin. I have seen utter devastation here in Marsh Harbor. We are surrounded by water with no way out, ABC News correspondent Marcus Moore told the news station. Absolution devastation, there really are no words it is pure hell here on Marsh Harbor on Avoca Island in the northern part of the Bahamas, the National Hurricane Center estimated storm surge to be 18 to 23 feet above normal tide levels. Abaco Construction trucks are shown being employed in rescue operations. Photos from before the storm showed people hunkered down in churches, waiting for the worst to hit 4 p.m. EDT Sunday, Dorian continues to barrel across the northern Bahamas with maximum sustained winds holding at 185 miles per hour. Storm surge is greater than 20 feet above normal tide levels in the hardest hit areas, according to the National Hurricane Center. Lightning has also continued in the eye of the hurricane, a signal that the storm may still be strengthening. While the Bahamas are the being battered by Dorian, people across eastern Florida are making their final preparations before the arrival of gusty winds and heavy rain from the storm. This includes placing sandbags and locking bridges and floodgates near the coast. All city of Miami bridges on the Miami River. EDT Sunday. The Eye of Dorian made a second landfall on Great Abaco Island near Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas. Maximum sustained winds were 185 mph during landfall. According to the National Hurricane Center, this is tied for the strongest Atlantic hurricane landfall on record with the 1935 Labor Day hurricane. 1.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is suspending tolls ahead of Dorian. St. John's County in St. Augustine, Florida has issued mandatory evacuation orders effective on 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Monday. Urgent announcement, please click on graphics. John's County to open evacuation shelters and issue mandatory evacuation for zones and be picked. Twitter.com slash U82LFPKP9U Street. John's Co. EOC at St. John's Eoc, September 1, 2019, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, Sunday. 
Hurricane Dorian has made landfall with sustained surface winds of 185 mph at Elbow K, Abacos in the Bahamas. Only one in the history of the Atlantic has achieved stronger top wind speeds than 185 mph, which was Hurricane Allen in 1980 packing 190 mph winds. 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. Dorian is located about 205 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida, and 20 miles east of Great Abaco Island in the Bahamas. The hurricane has intensified and now has sustained winds of 180 mph, a dangerous Category 5, now at 180 mph. Only four storms in the Atlantic have ever exceeded this wind speed, and only one since 2000, which was Wilma. The outer rain bands of Dorian are moving over Great Abaco Island, and conditions will only get worse through the day Sunday and Monday. Dorian is expected to slow its forward speed and turn north near or just offshore of Florida, Monday and Tuesday as a very damaging major Category 4 hurricane, with maximum sustained winds of at least 130 miles per hour, if not higher. 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. Dorian is closing in on Great Abaco Island, including Marsh Harbor and Hope Town. The Category 5 hurricane is still producing wind gusts well over 200 mph, similar to an EF4 tornado. Dangerous Category 5 Hurricane Dorian closing in on Great Abaco Island including Marsh Harbor and Hope Town which is the smaller circled island with wind gusts wheel over 200 miles per hour like an EF4 tornado. I believe at Extreme Storms is intercepting this storm on the circled island pic.twitter.com slash i58dxorg, read Timmer, at read Timmer Aq, September 1, 2019, 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, Sunday. Dorian has sustained winds of 175 mph with wind gusts over 200 mph. According to the NHC, these extreme winds will continue for the next several hours. This puts Dorian in the top three Atlantic sustained wind storms. Since 2000 in the Atlantic, only Reed at Wilma and Irma had higher sustained winds. The eye wall of extreme winds and storm surge will continue for several hours. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash post seven fias aid pick dot twitter dot com slash eighty three land my one WP National Hurricane Center at NHC underscore Atlantic September first twenty nineteen eight AM Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday Dorian is now a Category 5 hurricane, located about 225 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida, 35 miles east of Great Abaco Island in the Bahamas, was packing winds of 160 miles per hour with higher gusts and was moving west at 8 miles per hour. Image via the Bahamas Department of Meteorology, AccuWeather meteorologists pointed out satellite images of Dorian still portray the hurricane as a relatively small feature. Hurricane force winds only extend outward from the hurricane by about 30 miles, while tropical storm force winds extend outward from the center of the hurricane by about 105 miles. This is roughly half of what is averaged for a hurricane, 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time Sunday. Tropical storm warnings have now been issued for portions of Florida's east coast. A tropical storm warning is now in effect for north of Deerfield Beach to Sebastian Inlet, Florida, as well as north of Golden Beach to Deerfield Beach. Dorian maintained Category 4 intensity overnight, with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Hurricane EDT Sunday Dorian is located about 70 miles east of Great Abaco Island in the Bahamas. Conditions will be deteriorating over the Abaco Islands during the next several hours, and then Grand Bahama Island later today, the National Hurricane Center said in a Twitter post. The storm's path has triggered Florida, Georgia, South Carolina and North Carolina to declare a state of emergency ahead of landfall, 5 a.m. EDT Sunday, Dorian is about 255 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida, and crawling closer at the sluggish pace of 8 miles per hour. The storm maintains its Category 4 status with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Report a typo let's block ads. Why? 